Hi everybody, time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Vole. The Medical Arts Magnet Lab at Fort Vancouver High School will look a lot different when students return to classes. They've got a new medical table that will totally change the way students learn about the human body. The Medical Arts Lab at Fort Vancouver High School is full of opportunities for hands-on learning. Students can practice drawing blood, applying tape and bandages, and more. And now they can conduct a high-tech autopsy thanks to a brand new anatomage table. The table contains full-body scans of four bodies, two male, two female, donated by real people for medical research. We can slice them all the way down into layers, to the cellular level, to the body system level. Uh, it's, it's really mind-blowing. <laughs> it is so much fun to play with and we have not even yet begun to scratch the surface. Teacher Colleen Dunnigan demonstrated the machine for us, showing how she can now isolate muscles, the skeleton, the nervous system, any part of the body. Students can rotate the body parts, seeing them in three dimensions and seeing how they interact with one another. They can simulate a heartbeat, seeing how higher and lower beats per minute affects blood flow. The table will soon be connected to big screen televisions, so virtual dissections can be viewed by all of the students in the class. It's a really great tool that's not only just for the medical magnet, but for our anatomy, physiology, and our zoology classes that a lot of our students take because they want to be in they're interested in health care or veterinary care. The table came as part of a grant at no cost to the program and will be put into use as soon as in-person school resumes. The Medical Arts Magnet and the district's other magnet programs are all available for sign-ups after the holiday break, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for those. In the meantime, you can keep up with the district on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Until next time, I'm Nick Vole.